Well, hello there. It's me at NBS History again, and I'm going to do something quite different than any of my material I've ever put out. So as you probably can see on the screen, I'm about to play a game called Axes and Allies. It's actually a board game that came out, I believe, in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken. I own the actual board game, by the way, but I'm going to be playing a computer version of it. Simply because the board game actually takes, I think, eight hours. It was one, t yeah, one time I was playing, it took like eight hours to, uh, to play. I'm going to be showing off the computer game, which is free to download. And I'll try and put links in, although, mind you, I don't know if it's... Uh, legal per se i think the gaming company might have a few things to say about that but you can find it online download it for free and um you know uh, i'm in the field of history it's quite a relevant game it's a game i love to play i've been playing it for years i think i'm gonna just you know play around with a few things i'm not gonna play very seriously like at the strategic level because it's quite easy to win at this game especially against the computer if you are using a strategy so instead i'll try and use some historically relevant strategies per se or events that could have occurred during world war ii so i'm going to open up the interface i will be playing the axis we'll just put all of them to hard all right so as you can see this is the computer game itself it's trying to replicate what the board game looks like it's ex excellent it's very well done and I will be playing the Axis, and I know you're probably just like, get it on, let's go. I'm going to try and speed this up because this game takes forever to play. Uh, just to mess around with things, let's say that Japan, and this is true in history, there was a notion of two different strategies that Japan could have taken when it was attempting its battle strategy for World War II. The Southern Strategy, which occurred when it attacked the United States and took the Southern Islands, that's uh, indicated over here. Or the northern strategy which was something that was perpetuated by the Japanese army which was to attack the Soviet Union to take uh, the oil fields in Siberia which would have been suicide mind you but uh, both most strategies were suicide uh, just quickly to go about the history Japan had a unique situation in World War II in which the Navy and the army were fighting for funding the Navy got the upper hand in this because they had more influence and more or less had a gun to the uh we'll call it the government's head the emperor's head he wasn't really in charge and uh they they won the day and they went with the southern strategy and got more funding and during the war the military the army and the navy were fighting each other it's, it's hilarious there were so many instances in which the army needed the navy to bring them <clears throat> some supply ships to bring them like let's say to taiwan or something and the navy would just like not do it or bring them somewhere and just leave them there to die it's like craziness it's like w like you wouldn't believe uh, anyways i'll carry on oh yeah i have to start as the italians uh for the italians i'm going to let's do something that like mussolini would do just utter stupidity. I'm going to try and conquer Africa and recreate some kind of weird whole weird Roman Empire even though I guess Germany technically owns all this. So uh, the first uh, the first step is to buy technology which I can't do. Italy would be suicide. You have no money at the beginning. Instead, I will be opting out to hmm. Oh, I'd like to build a transport, but it's not going to be the case. I think I will build a oh, cruiser. Yeah, a cruiser will do me some good. Build up that navy. Italy has kind of a cliche first turn. Boom. Boom. I am transporting units, as you might have guessed. Boom, boom. All these units are gonna go boom here. Then this plane is going to help. As for the rest, move them to the east to help Germany that's successfully uh, done Operation Barbarossa. First battle. Oh, there's dice involved in this game because it is a board game, and I just just killed that that ship. That was awesome. Now let's see how I fare on the mainland. 
Not bad. Ugh, it's a little rough. Luck is a part of this game. But it's more strategy based, let's say. You want to compare this to Risk. Risk, I would argue, is a lot more... No, it's not an argument. There's more There's more luck involved in Risk in this game. In this game, there's set values towards your units. They cost certain amounts, and you can predict the outcomes of battles, let's say. But you can always roll poorly, also. Ooh, if I put a single ship... Oh, hope that doesn't get destroyed. Oh, now it's Russia's turn. And Russia will... The computer, and in general, Russia will just start attacking Germany to push you against your inner parts. Oof. Oof. Oh, this is brutal. Oof. Soviets took a licking. Even with Germany, I won't buy technology for this round. Um... My German strategy, and for those who haven't played this game before, you're kind of pitched into a position where you either have to face Russia and kind of ignore the outside world, or you can go full on against the outside world. I maybe make a video on that. That would be very interesting because that's like suicide. Or you do a bit of both. Germany's capabilities, navy-wise, are, are, are atrocious. You're really, uh, you're really stuck. But something I like to do, particularly with Germany, I think it's relevant to history, is get a few of those bad boys going. Because the planes certainly come in handy. Buy some tanks. Kind of average it out. Don't uh, put all your eggs in one basket kind of thing. You need to be aggressive when you play the Axis. You make... How do I explain this? You start off with good money. The Allies start off just a little bit under you, but they soon, I think I can actually show the economies over here, they soon just outperform you. It's particularly the United States. Every turn, the United States is in the plane, the United States just becomes a monster, and then eventually just, just destroys you. <clears throat> for the most part, the United States can't do too much at the beginning. It'll just move units into, usually Africa. For some reason, the computer loves the, the old time strategy, I think it was called the something shuffle, where you just move units into Africa, and then eventually you can attack Western Europe or Italy, etc., etc. So, combat movement phase. You need to be uh, aggressive, as I said. Although... Hmm. Okay, let's see. Two units over here. You're gonna go over there. Uh, I have to take care of some of this. That's true. a lot of things to take care of over in the, in the water okay I like to make a, a nice wall so I'm going to do so by just bull rushing everything I got over here like so move the units like so keep some in France just in case oh these units over here at least move the tanks keep the men might stop the shuffle for a little bit dealing with all of this there's quite a few small things that don't look so obvious but become problems at this point i guess in history britain's got its navy as it did for most of the war its navy was uh, always doing quite well i guess you could say had, had some hit and miss points and we need to cripple them and this isn't uh, like the real world where the U-boats were reigning supreme. No. We're going to have to attack them with all sorts of weird means. I usually like to take some shots at this, but in this version of the game, they've updated it, and now it's well guarded. Usually isn't like that. Well. Well. This is going to be interesting. This can be taken out. No, that's not possible. Hmm. Oh, 
I can't believe I'm doing this. This is painful. And this could be a make or break. But we're going to do it anyways. Battle of Ukraine went just not great. That's not good. That was garbage, and that's not good for me. Even that was not great. Starting to get a bit afraid. Put those two tanks over there, land the rest over here. And now it's time for jolly old England, old Britain, to come after me. Uh, wow, Britain is going all over the place. Britain has a lot in the map. Britain's moving things to Canada. That's it's odd. And it's doing its cliche movements into Africa. All right, so Japan, Japan, yet again, I'm not going to be buying technology. It's not, uh, it's not too sensible to do. Japan. Since we're going to be doing the northern strategy, with a little bit, we, we can't not focus on the Navy and everything. We have to take care of the United States being in our playground, but we're going to be focusing over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy buy two two factories turn these factories will be used on the mainland to be able to build upon it so I'm going to transport I'm going to be very aggressive right now very aggressive okay Yes, it seems that Little Australia needs to be conquered. Oh, but that does leave India. Hmm. Can't attack India, unfortunately. So yes, now Australia will have to suffice for now seems these two gentlemen will have to go over here they will go over there fighting like so. Very aggressive. They will be moving along. Yeah, I seem pretty comfortable with this. All right, so Australia. Yay, took it quite easily. China, oh my god, that's like, oof. Quite easily. Japanese just floored it. Keep my units over here. Should always keep them on the mainland if possible. Two 
go. Keep them like that. Uh, these units will move here. And a factory will be plopped right there. And a factory will be plopped right there. Establishing my beachhead. Just, it's very hard to get past that now. Oh my god, the United States is coming right for me. Okay, so the computer has shuffled to England. So its strategy is going to be to move all of its units from over here into the United Kingdom and then probably to land in Norway. This is a secondary shuffle technique that was used. Well, I use it all the time too. It's quite uh, easy to do. Okay, so now that Italy's kind of being left on its own for a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna expand quite heavily. Hmm. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. So let's pick off what we can. Move our units one here. Get all these guys moving there. And then let's just attack like that. Little reinforcements there. Move this poor guy over here. Hmm. That should be good. There's not much else you can do. Italy doesn't get to do much in this, as they shouldn't, because they weren't doing anything during World War II other than losing all their battles. Couldn't even take down Greece. Things are going great for Italy in this game. This is an alternate world. It's a fantasy world where Mussolini didn't blunder up everything. Alright, so, these units built. Italy does a fantastic turn. And the Soviet Union just went full Stalingrad in that area. Oh, there goes my glorious tanks and pretty much his entire army. Uh, that was a Pyrrhic victory for certain. And like before, I am going to do the exact same thing, buy the same. And Germany is going to start crying tears of blood soon because it is going to get harder and harder to survive. All right, boom, boom. Boom. Okay. Wonder if I should even do this. It's going to Yeah, let's just help our allies bust open that a bit. It's not a whole wide range of stuff I could do about this. My air force is quite crippled, but I am going to need to do something. Hmm. I can't even, no, even if I wanted to, I couldn't do anything about that. And these units, hmm. United Kingdom will will floor my navy very soon. Yes, it's preparing to do so. So in the meantime, I gotta do what I can over here. That's what I can do. Unfortunately. Oh, that works out for me. Okay, they all safe. Now 
This is where Germany's gonna get hurt a bit. And Japan, I guess, and India. That was quick. Ooh, so much movement. Combining their navies, focusing on Africa too. Well, they're landing in the United Kingdom, but yeah, they're gonna make Africa, they're gonna contest it quite heavily. Now for Japan. Super aggressive, Japan. Silix tanks on the mainland, pretty much every turn, uh, but I also would like to continue to have a presence over here. Mm. Fortunately, they've got me pinned down quite heavily. And I don't have too much money to buy anything. I can buy a destroyer. Uh, that'll help. That definitely will. Okay, in the meantime. This, uh, you know what, this guy, he's going to stay. He's going to, he's my one, he's my one guy going to protect Australia. My fleet is going to help attack over here. Overkill to the max. You're gonna move up here. You're gonna move closer inland. This is just too terrifying. I don't believe I can do much about it. And he will be free to attack some of my islands as a consequence, which is not fun, but can't really do anything right now about this. I might want to flee actually if anything now i'll leave my submarine there it could probably protect me uh, my planes will do what my planes got to do that's about it boom 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 it's, this is going very well for me Land back home. Oh, you can't land back home. Okay, you're land there. Mr. Tanks. Over there. One more ship over here. China's pretty much doomed. Oh, the United States is it's Normandy. Yay. And Africa. So much like World War II, we're seeing events being played out as he did. I think Normandy didn't go too well for them. Oh, they, at they attacked. Oof. Oof. Well, Normandy didn't go too well, but... Uh, the Allies are in Africa. My forces at sea were obliterated, but the United States lost a significant amount. But the United States did win significantly in the numbers Oof. okay so Italy's got a lot going uh, going after it right now all right well I'm gonna need more things in the ocean to protect me Okay, combat. being prevented from doing quite a lot here. This is pretty much all I can do, sadly enough. I have to be wary of this and I have to protect my front, so that's all I can do. Absolutely tore that to pieces. 
Not bad at all. Okay. Mediterranean is being protected by an Italian Navy that wasn't destroyed utterly by British swordfish. We should make an episode of MBS on that. Oh my god. Okay. Oof. That was a staggering loss for me. Oh, Deutschland, Uber, Alice, not really. Deutschland's getting, getting the pinch. We can continue. I'm gonna go a little bit more aggressive on the tanks. A little bit more. Ooh, oh boy, okay. Germany's combat move. Well, Germany's combat move will include taking a free hit at a transport ship that can't defend itself. Actually, can I even? No. No, unfortunately not. Oh, actually, do I even need to do this? I got a little submarine. I can just go after you. Kriegsmarine style. All right. Oh, actually, that's that was overly ambitious. These two go there, one for one. Literally everything is going to attack here. Uh, there's no, there's no real other targets to be found. So the entire Luftwaffe is going to attack that. I'm actually wondering if I should just... I can't even contest it because these planes are just gonna rail me if I go closer to England. They're basically not unable to attack me just just yet, but in two turns they're gonna get me, so that's all I can do. This poor little transport gets demolished. These Russians fought valiantly, but are completely destroyed. Okay, wait. One, two, three. Alright, so these planes are going to stick right in the middle. I am leaving Western Europe open, but it will be taken anyways at this point. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Britain will. Okay, so Bryn is going to throw everything it can at my navy anyways. Alright, it's going everywhere. Well, that is an upset. Wow. Okay. This game loves me today. I don't know what's going on. This is the luckiest, this is the most luck I've ever had. Complete destruction of Britain there. That was ridiculous. With Japan, and those who play this game know I'm playing like, this little cheap strategy with Japan. I know, but if I make any more of these videos, I'll show some like rather weird things you can do with this game. But I just kind of wanted to like just throw like a little bit of history and just show the game because I'm sure there's a lot of people who have never seen this game in their lives, and it's it's quite fun. To, it's very difficult though; it's quite difficult to play. All right, so I'd like to have more involvement in the ocean. Hmm. If I build anything, oh boy, I'm going to get wrecked. So we're going to build a plane. All right. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to start pushing heavily. Would like to take China, but I'm gonna need a bit more time, I believe. Oh, that's, that's a mistake. Da, 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 da. These guys, strange rule, you just wanna do this, that way 
get all the bonuses. Okay, that's taken. What's the United States going to do now? The United States is going to just... All right. Hmm. I'm wonder. I, I might. I'm gonna take a, a little shot at them. I think. I think it's it's worthwhile. Just one round, and we'll see how well it performs. That should be good enough for now. Battle of Persia. Easy peasy. Okay, one more hit. Oh, that was super good for me. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this game is going way too easy. Okay, so that's all done. Land back in the mainland. Back onto the aircraft carriers, which the Japanese still have because midway did not occur. <laughs> uh. This is like every alternate history's odd kind of wet dream where somehow the Axis actually got their shit together and defeated uh, the Allies who had more production than the Axis could ever even handle. The idea that the Axis remotely had a chance in the war, overall, don't start throwing like years at me and oh, when they couldn't turn the tides, overall, they had no chance. It's like, it's utterly ridiculous. You look at the economy of Germany, for instance, with the autarky that was going on, Germany had no chance of doing anything. People are deluded. People need to do more economic history. It's very boring, I mind you. A lot of people who go into history just go for the wars and the battles and all that, but you, you have to get your hands dirty and actually do some boring history, let's call it. And if you learn the, the economy of Germany, especially during the age of dictatorships, a lot's illuminating, especially about the industrialists and the conservatives who were influencing politics during the day. Oof. They're getting involved in Africa too much for my liking. Okay, so. I would very much like to get rid of them, but I'm going to need more sea forces. Now I can transport another turn, so I might as well go crazy on these units. All right. Doki. Hmm. This is a bit tricky now. I must reconquer this area. Okay. I might as well just go all in. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. They're unfortunately gonna get a bit more in Africa, but there's not much I could do about that at this point. So, Western Europe destroyed. Oof. Oh no. Oof, okay. Not good. Good. Ouch. Some casualties. Okay. It's looking good, though. Oh, Russia's... Russia's collapsing into itself. No. Still not buying technologies. Now that I can see that things are going to start landing in Germany, I'm going to stop buying planes, go a little bit heavier on this, and now I'm taking a valuable target. Oof. Oof. 
Ooh, I have a lot of things to shoot in the ocean, though. Okay, I gotta think this one through. Okay. They're going to... They are going to hit me with everything that they got. And keep this here. It is convenient to me. You know, it seems a little odd, but I'm going to put two units up there. I'm going to kill that. Is there anything else that's free? Not really. These planes are going to have to remain exactly where they are. Well, at least with this, they'll, they'll be forced to take Norway under these circumstances. Goodbye. And now I own that. All right. Hey, birdie bird. And uh, basically, as soon as Russia has been conquered, that's pretty much game over. I won't play any further because it'll be way too long for this video. And wow, they attacked my navy. And they are going to just completely destroy my navy. Not good. So now my men are stranded. Okay. So the United States has completely given up on this. Combat phase. Oh, I see. They're just going to up and leave. So I'm going to collapse in on them. Very aggressive because my allies need me. With my Japanese Navy, I think I'm going to enter into the Mediterranean. Oh, I couldn't possibly do that attack. My bird, I can see you. Yeah. Uh, do I have anything for you? I do not have anything for you. Sorry, bird. Would you like a pen? There you go. You're so inconsiderate, bird. Okay, this should be good. That's gonna go down easy. Yeximish, Kazakhstan. Put up a valiant fight. Get nervous. Oof. Good, that's good. Everything looks a okay. Insult to injury. Oh my god, Charlotte, qu'est-ce que tu fais? All right. Well, the United States is trying to enter. Interesting.
And they're going to double down in Africa, I guess. A terrifying amount of people. I need transport ships to get in there. Nah, but you know what? Nah. Let's take care of that navy. to cause me some problems. Oh, not much more I can do. It's almost over though, I believe. As soon as I take Russia, it's, it's not much. They can't come back from this. Germany's combat move. Well, if you insist. I can't really sweep them just, just yet. But I should be able to antagonize them enough. Yeah, so basically next turn I'll be taking down Russia. The planes are also going to be moving into position. We'll attack here, move down there. It's, uh, it's pretty much game over as far as I can see. Alright, move the tanks into position. Yeah, so next turn seems seems like that's it. They're trying to put up a little bit of a defense for Moscow, but they're not going to be able to. Oh, and Japan's had such an easy go at this game. This is just ridiculous for them. Not a terrible need to push too much more into the mainland. Say... Japan finally decided it was going to start attacking the United States. Got some transport ships. Uh, let's see, Japan has eight. That would be that turn. To the mainland, whatever. This bird in my peripheral vision is so cheeky right now. All right, so Japan. Japan's gonna get in the way. Just a little bit. And then Japan's going to Stay exactly where it is there. Japan's going to soften up Russia.
great show of force. It's going to be a huge suicide mission. Bunsai, go in. Oh my god. is going to do American things. Normandy's sort of raging again. They're definitely going to take it. Yeah, there's no stopping them. And they're going to start reconquering Africa, getting their money back. But I think it's too late. As soon as Russia's gone, it's it's done. Because I could just forward all my money now to the navies, and it's simply too much to handle. Uh, let's just say... Let's just say that they need help in the mainland, so Italy responds to the imminent danger by getting more troops in the mainland. Doesn't really matter. And then these guys. Just start pushing up here. Uh, there's nothing really else they can do. And we just boost that up. Russia is going to do absolutely nothing, yeah. Theoretical purchase, because it doesn't really matter. And the Soviet Union is going to be gone. Well, actually... So we just want to reclaim that. Baba buoy, Baba buoy. We'll just see how that goes down. Probably not well. Gone. Russia is just done. So that's the uh, it's a game in the nutshell. Uh, I didn't use any sophistication. It's that was pretty vanilla as far as one of these games go. One of these game goes when you when you play as the Axis. And I just wanted to tease this out. If people like this video for some reason, even though I don't think it's particularly interesting, I'll probably make more. And uh, this has been MBS History. Please leave a like and subscribe. As you can see, my bird is quite thin and it's begging for peanuts this whole time. It, she, she needs some and only your subscriptions will feed her. Why, Charlotte? Is it petit quelque chose? See if I can get her to talk. There we go. This has been MBS History.